Hello folks, what's up? So today I want to talk to you guys about using WhatsApp for business. Today everybody pretty much uses WhatsApp for business, be it regardless of what industry you come from. Either as a brand user to communicate or as a customer user to sort of stay updated, to get confirmation about your orders, appointments, to get reminders about your orders and appointments. So it is pretty much a part of our communication cycle now. But as a brand, when you do use WhatsApp for business, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind. So the first thing that you should do is to make sure that you have a confirmation or an approval of your client to use their number for WhatsApp communication. It is not a given. If they have given you their mobile number, it does not mean they are open to receiving communication through WhatsApp. So number one is to always make sure that you have their approval their consent to use WhatsApp as a communication medium. A lot of people may or may not be okay with it, so consent is very, very important, like most things in life. The second thing is to keep it professional. It is a business account. You need to keep your tone. You need to keep your choice of words very professional. It is not a personal account. So make sure that everything that goes out from the number is professional. It's It has a certain decorum that it follows. It has a certain tone. It has a certain, uh, you know, respect so it is a professional account at the end of the day and it needs to communicate in a way that reflects professionalism essentially number three do not do not send 20 messages send all of all the information in one message hello send how are you send your appointment for blah 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 is not confirmed send no stop what you need to do is put it all together in one message and send it out do not send 20 different messages. It is very annoying. It is it was it is likely to put your customer in a bad mood and ideally maybe block you because they can. So make sure that everything goes out in one message. Every message that goes out should have your signature and that is number four. People, people may change their numbers, people may change their phones. So it is always a good idea. Just write a small uh, from. So for example, if I were to send it out, I would probably send it off as Best regards, kind regards, whatever. Shaheen, Rajan, full name always, or your designation. If, for example, if I'm a PR manager, try it across. So make sure that the person who's at the receiving end has your details. All messages together and signature at the end. Iske baad. My fifth recommendation would be to keep your profile photo and your about, which is part of your bio on WhatsApp. Publics. Everyone can see it regardless of whether you have their numbers saved or not. It, it's a professional account. It's not a personal account where you want to sort of keep safeguard your information. It is a professional account which is public, which is basically used for dealings with a wider audience. So keep it public so that people can see who they are talking to. So these are the five things that I would recommend. Consent. Keep it professional. Send all everything in one message and not 20. Sign off your messages with a signature. And keep your profile photo and about public now let's talk about don'ts i am not a fan of over communication it is actually one of my pet peeves my first don't for the list would be do not over communicate use your discretion say for example if i'm a salon and i have booked an appointment say a week in advance and i've agreed to whatsapp communication my first message should be the auto confirmation or uh, appointment confirmation ki ji aapka fla 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 job ki service hai this is confirmed for blah fla 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 uh, date time venue next should be a reminder which could be 24 hours before and if you really do need to then maybe an hour before but generally more than two reminders is a no go so one confirmation two reminders and that should be the maximum if the window between the order and the appointment is very small you cannot send three messages. It is just very annoying. So try to keep your communication as crisp, as to the point as possible. Nobody likes 27 messages from a salon who you have booked in for a pedicure. They don't. And the last thing would be to keep your communication within business hours. So if you start, so say nine to six, nine to seven even, but early morning, seven in the morning or then in the evening that's a no-go it's a business account another reminder so try to keep your communication within those hours so let's do a recap of all that we have discussed i'm going to use my notebook so that i don't forget anything for starters do number one take consent do number two keep it professional 
Do number three, everything in one message and message and not 20. Do number four, include a signature. Do number five, keep a profile photo and about public. Don'ts. Do not over communicate. Do not send a lot of messages. Do not send promotions every second day. Do not coordinate outside of business hours. And that's about it. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you know what to do. And I'll hopefully see you soon. So until then, bye.